Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name's Denise and I'm Dear Designs. Uh, different position today just because I couldn't be bothered to sit up there. <laughs> um, yeah, and the sun is really, really shining through the window. Um, it is about three o'clock on Thursday and I think you're a little bit wonky. Oh well, <laughs> it will do I suppose. Um, yeah, it's three o'clock on Thursday. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video today you're still wonky and it's really, oh, wait one second, that might be a bit better. <laughs> um, the reason I'm doing this today is because I'm going to be out and about tomorrow, so I'm not going to get a chance and I'm going bingo this evening with my mum, my sister and my granddad. So there's not going to be that much progress in this afternoon and evening or the rest of this afternoon and evening um, and tomorrow so I just thought I would put this video up today and like I said before I'm just going to put up videos as and when I feel like I want to um, I will try and keep it to um, once a week and hopefully that will be at the end of the week um, probably Fridays more than anything but we'll just see how this year goes because obviously yeah we'll just see what happens uh i've only come on here i haven't got a lot to show um i've only come on here really because i've finished the front and the back of the jumper that i was making or i am making um literally just cast off the back you do the front first and then you do the back a little bit confusing um i was a bit confused but this is what the colour work looks like. This is the back. Um, yeah, so this is what the colour work looks like. Um, I haven't weaved in some ends there. I have weaved in all the rest of the ends on both of them. I literally got to the end of the colour work and that's why the, the white and grey is still there. Um, got to the end of the colour work and thought, well, I'm going to weave these in, ends in now before I get to the end and think, oh, so that's what I did and what I, what actually happened when I finished both ends of the colour work um, it was quite late in the evening so I thought well I'll weave the, those in and then call it a night. So that was my aim for the day. But I'm really really liking the colour. <clears throat> the grey could have probably done with a li being a little bit lighter but then it might have been a bit <clears throat> too much like this. I'm really sorry. I don't know where my throat is being like that but I really like it um, the only odd colour I would say <clears throat> is the blue but I've just literally bordered the pink in the blue so there's a row there and a row there that's the only blue in the whole thing to prove that I have a front and a back I have got two <laughs> um, really really quick to make up uh, there is a error in the pattern in my eyes um, in simply crochet eyes there isn't uh, I don't know whether any of you are on Bella Coco on Facebook and I can't remember if I put it anywhere else um, it's just that I needed a quick response and I know there is hundreds of people on there um, the book is here um, <clears throat> now Obviously, I'm not going to tell you the actual pattern, but I'm going to explain to you why I think there's an error. So if any of you want to make this, then bear in mind. Now, for the front, you do the rib, which you work that way. So it's um, working in the back loop only for a certain amount of rows, and then you have to pick up them rows. So you've done that, then you've picked up how many stitches you need for your size and then it says for the front you have to do um, now for the small size you do a total of 20 rows for the medium size a total of 20 rows and then for the large and the extra large you do a total of 16 rows now in my eyes the bigger you are the longer you want it um, so this says gives you three rows of the actual pattern and then it says work um, for the smaller sizes 17 rows more or for the larger sizes 13 rows more um, as row three it's only a one row repeat so 
I'm really sorry if I'm explaining this really, really badly, but <clears throat> in my eyes, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to just show you what I think. Um, I don't want to show you the whole pattern, but can you see here? It says work 17, 17, then 13. I think that's 23 rows to make it a bit longer. And then a to, to make it a total of 26 rows. Um, I don't know whether that's just me or what. Anyway, I did put it on Bella Coco and a couple of people said, oh, another error, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, that doesn't really tell me if there's an error or not because they're just saying, oh, it's another error because of what I've put. I emailed Simply Crochet as well. They got back to me and said that the reason that there is less rows there is because the rows are added in the arm length, the arm, the armhole shape in. And I thought, well, no, not really, because you're going to need a bigger armhole for the bigger person. So anyway, I've done it the way I want it. I like longer jumpers. I prefer the tunic style jumpers. Don't think this is going to be really that much longer than a standard jumper. Um, obviously, that's the armhole shaping. So you've got from there to there. I can't get it all in. <laughs> uh, so you've got from there to there, which... It's quite long and I like long, but, and I've left the pin in, the, the thing, and that is where, that is 20, 20 rows. So I've done an extra six rows to make it a little bit longer for myself. And I suppose you can make this as long as you want because this bit, you just do the front and the back the same and then carry on with the, the color work. So I've made it that much longer. And I think being that much longer, which is about, the rib length, if not a little bit less, I think just makes it a bit better. Anyway, I'm rambling on. So, I've done the front and the back. And the colour work is really, really simple. It's really, really easy. Um, you just have balls of wool everywhere because of all the different colours that you're using. I will show you what I am... Got, what I'm, I'm using my scrap basket thing to hold all my balls <laughs> my balls of wool <laughs> um yeah and there is obviously more underneath because of all the, all the colors that i'm using are in here so underneath you've got all the other colors as well without them all falling out and the reason i like this is because you can sort of put it in and stretch it and make sure everything goes in <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is what I'm using that for at the moment. Then, if you remember, or did I did I actually show it? I can't remember. I look really red here. I'm not. I I, I don't know. I'm not hot or anything. I've made a smaller one. I'm sure I showed you this. No, I don't think I did actually. I don't think I did because I finished the last one on. Oh, I can't remember. I really need to write down what I'm showing. I need to get a notebook um, and write all my show notes, like my personal show notes, like what I've showed and and that, because I'm just getting so confused. <laughs> um, obviously, I don't watch my own videos back um, after I've edited, edit, edit, oh my good lord, edited them and uploaded them. Wow. Anyway, so this is the smaller one and I have two, no, I have one empty um, cocktail bowl, empty, completely empty and the other one is half full. Um, I did use every single scrap of double knit. The only, the only reason why the other one is half full is because it's Aran and Chunky Weight yarn and I just wanted this to be double knit. Um, this one came out a little bit different, like the patterning, but for scrap, it's fine. I use the same method. Someone did comment on my video, thank you very much, that it's the Russian join. Um, that is what I do when it's a scrap, or if I'm doing a blanket type, there is just hair everywhere. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is that. 
I'm not going to go through all the yarn that I'm using for my jumper just because I've showed you before but the main colour is from B&M and it's Trim Aran. Um, yeah, I didn't think I would have enough but I had two of these and I've literally just had to use this, start this ball for the top of the um, grey. So I managed to get out of one ball this bit, this bit, and this bit again. No, hold on. No, I've managed to get out of one ball <laughs> this bit, this bit, and the bottom bit. And then I've had to open a new ball for the top bit. Um, so I'm hoping that there will be enough there to do both sleeves because the sleeves are again with the pattern. There should be enough there. So we should be cooking on gas once I've started the sleeves. Now, I went online. I haven't got anything else to show. I do apologise. Um, it's been quite a productive week on my jumper because I've just sort of sat down and stuck to that more than anything. Um, I did down, not download, I printed a few patterns. Um, let me just get. Right, so I've been watching um, Sonia Jones. Hello, Sonia. Um, I've been binge watching your channel. <laughs> um, so. I'm up to Vlogmas, it's actually on my telly right now, I'm up to Vlogmas day 17 and I'm going to try and watch the rest of them up to um, today or whenever your last video was. Um, but yes, I've been binge, binge watching and I was watching one with my other half the other day, or Ian, everyone knows his name now, uh, watching it with Ian the other day and you were showing two ponchos that you had made, one was in pink and one was in purple, I think it was done by uh, James C. Brett Marble. I could be wrong. I really could be wrong because I've watched quite a few. But you did, I don't know whether there's a picture here. Ah, you did a poncho. No, it wasn't a poncho. You did a shawl and it was in the V-stitch but you made it into a cow, like a cowlet shawl thing. Oh my god, I fell in love with it. I was like, I want one of them and I want it now. <laughs> Um, I went online and I got the V-stitch pattern because, yes, I can crochet and I'm not very good with coming up my, with my own designs and things like that. I'm so much better at following a pattern or actually knowing how the pattern is um, constructed and then I can get on with it myself. And I do know that you did the V-stitch shawl and then you just... Um, made it into the round for eight rows I believe for the cowlet thing the cowlet bit um, so I printed off how to do a v-stitch shawl because I, I just I looked at Ian and I went I want one of them and he went we'll make it then I was like but I don't know how and he went we'll search it then there's gonna be some hat some way you're gonna know um, but oh my god I just absolutely fell in love with it so this is the pattern for that. It was from Ravelry, I believe. I think so. It's by Sherry. Oh, I can't say that last name. And, and I don't know whether it's going to focus. Probably not. But um, just search for V-stitch pattern. The next thing is I, on Facebook... I printed another pattern on Facebook I do find a lot of stuff that I like and I save it and you've got a save tab on Facebook um, and I was going through that the other day just because I wanted to know what to make next or what to actually put on the hook or the needles um, whatever caught my eye and this caught my eye now I've only printed one pa one picture of this this is a free pattern again um, and I haven't Ah, I have. I do not know the name of it. So, I will show you a picture. This is what it looks like. And I think it's really, really pretty. They show you that you can wear it in so many different ways as well. You can actually wear it so this comes, like, folds back down on itself. Um, you can wear this around your actual neck, just not around your arms as well. You can have it down a bit and up one side and 
all the different ways of wearing it. This is done in um, worst, wor worsted weight yarn, which I just use as Aran. Um, I know I'm using a lot of Aran lately because I'm using Aran for that jumper. Um, but I'm going to sort of work out how much yards that, uh, no, how much gram that 370 yards would be. And then even if I have to stripe it or do the top and the bottom a different colour, um, I'm going to try and use what I've got here. So it may look a little bit like the jumper that I'm making, hopefully not. I'm thinking the pink because I do like pink and the grey. We'll see. We'll have to see. But that was another thing that um, I printed off. Then, um, as I've said in previous previous videos, that I've actually got yarn in my wardrobe. <laughs> just because I have no room for it anywhere else. Um, if you remember a couple of videos back, I was sitting in front of a shelf with, um, at Christmas my penguins were on it. And then them cocktail bowls were on it. Can you see? This is the sun reflecting off of something. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was sat in front of that shelf. Well, I've sort of tidied that shelf up. And because them two cocktail bowls are now empty, I've put them on the shelf next to it with my unicorn in the middle. My little black box on the speaker just next or just underneath that shelf. And I have put a load of yarn on that shelf. I've always wanted my yarn on show. Not on show, but like a little st stack somewhere. Just so it looks pretty. <laughs> um, so I actually got that bag out. And all the yarn that I got from Lucy. Hi Lucy, thank you. Um, that I won in the giveaway. I've actually put on that shelf as well. So... It's to remind me what I've got, what, and every now and again I do look up and I do think, oh, I could make that. Now, Lucy sent me two different colour purple yarn, colours of purple yarn, and someone I was watching, I can't remember who it was. Mm. Who was I watching? It was a new person. It was a new person, and it was... It was Country Bumpkin Creates, Country Bumpkin, yeah I'm sure that is her um, YouTube, I did link it in my um, tag video, not tag, my uh, shout out video, um, she was making a two tone shawl and it was, she was doing like a black and a, another like a speckly yarn type thing and I just looked up at the shelf and I thought wow them two yarns would be perfect. Um, so it's given me a lot of inspiration and a lot of uh, ideas on what to do. So yeah, that's one thing that I've done. I've sort of tidied that corner up and I'm going to sort of make that my my two shelves. The shelf on top is all our um, mortar bits. Um, if you didn't know, my other half is Maltese. We go on holiday there and every now and again we bring back bits and bobs and Ian's sister goes and she brings us back something. Um, <clears throat> so we've got like um, statues and things up there. That's going to stay that and then the two shelves at the bottom. I think I'm just going to make my yarn, yarny bits. Um, yeah, Ian doesn't mind. So I was going to actually make the shelf here, my yarny bits. But then I thought, no, I, I don't really, I want to just keep that like that. There's normally a candle here. Um, but that ran out and I haven't got another candle to put there I've got little votive things the, ha the holder things um, I just haven't got round to putting one up there so anyway with that yarn that I've put on that shelf that I've rambled on about I got this out now this is the King Cole Shine Double Knit and if you remember before Christmas I got this out and well I bought this sorry from Derrimore's and I said that I'm going to start a top and I keep talking about this top, that the yarn is in my wardrobe. <laughs> if you're new, which I know a lot of you are, thank you so much for subscribing and coming along to watch me. I am going to be doing this top. And this is out of one of the um, Simply Knitting magazines. Issue way, way back. 
I don't even know whether I'm going to be able to tell you what issue it is. Um, now, if you've been with me for quite a while, March 2015, so not as far back as I thought. Um, if you've been with me for a while, then you will know, and if you haven't, then you won't, but I'll explain. I have, I had hundreds of knit, Simply Knitting magazines. Um, well, I say hundreds, it was probably near to a hundred, if not a few more. Um, I've been subscribing to Simply Knitting or Simply Crochet magazine for 10 years, if not a little bit longer. It was before I moved in here. I think it was just before I moved in here. Anyway, um, Simply Knitting was long before that. Um, yeah, it must have been more than that. So, anyway, you can imagine how many. So, in a year, you'd get, is it 12 or 13 issues? And how many issues is that every year? So, and it mounts up. So what I did was I was fed up with looking through all my magazines and thinking I can't find what I want to make. I know it's in here somewhere, blah, 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 blah. So I used a guillotine and I chopped all the binding thing, the, the bind, the binder, no, the join, <laughs> the seam of the magazines and I kept every single pattern. Now there is loads and loads of patterns if you go back a few videos i think it was november i might have done it um it is obviously um named in my channel and i went live i can't remember now <clears throat> but there is um a video just showing you all the magazines all over the floor and i was just putting them in these sleeves <clears throat> and i put them in big uh, ring binders um, ladies clothes, men's clothes, hats, scarves, socks, babies, toys, the Alan Dart um, patterns that he puts in his in the, the magazines as well. Um, oh. Alan Dart. <laughs> um, I have actually made that and that was um, one of my Christmas ornaments. But anyway, so that is what I did. So just to make it so much easier for myself. So if I want to make something for myself, I can think, right, let's flick through all the ladies' stuff and see if anything catches my eye. Um, yeah, so that is exactly the same colour because I just love that colour. I don't know whether because it's got pink in it. I do like blue. Um, I think it would look really nice with a pair of jeans. Um, yeah, now in the winter, I don't really wear jeans. A lot I have got jeans but I find that because I'm quite big I find them really uncomfortable now in the summer I wear jean shorts and obviously they're not skimpy little hot pants <laughs> I can assure you <laughs> um, they are jean shorts um, and this is quite thin yarn it's quite I think it'll be quite summery this was in March this magazine so it's caught quite springy type um, as in the season not the bounce of it <laughs> uh, so I think this will just be quite breezy and cool even I, even if I just have like a, a little vest on underneath um, I think it would be really nice and even though it's got glitter in it or the sparkly yarn it's not going to be that itchy so I'm really looking forward to casting this on um, again <sighs> It goes. It says it goes up to a size 20. Now, in knitting patterns, I am a little bit bigger than that. I am hoping to lose a little bit of weight. We all say that, don't we? I say that every year. Um, and it does go up to a 44 inch. Um, but I want to make it so bad that if it doesn't fit, then it will either go to a family member or... Um, on my Etsy store so I'm really sorry if you can hear kids screaming it is now half past three and we have school just at the end of the road and they walk past not our window but our gate sort of out the back um, our car park they walk past that and make so much noise and you know not to go out at this time of day because it's just ridiculous out there um, obviously mums dads whoever coming to pick up their kids I just 
everywhere it's crazy um so yeah that is all i've got for this week i did get this this morning simply knitting magazine um and it came with a free um crochet not crochet knit around your measuring tape which is here um and you can make a cover i probably won't make that i don't normally make the kits unless it's something that catches my eye i'm just yeah it's not it's not tickling my fancy at the moment um as well as anything in this book to be honest there is a couple of things i'll just quickly quickly show you the, the main um obviously if you get this magazine and you haven't got it yet and you don't want to know what's inside then look away because i haven't really got anything else to say after this so thanks for watching um but if you are here now this goes up to a size 30 but look at that look at that you've got to have the patience of a saint to make that haven't you please tell me if i'm wrong it's lovely but i just couldn't especially in a size 30 what is that what is that a 54 and it's a double knit you know you think oh my god that would just take forever there is two things that i really really like in here um one of them is this top i think it's beautiful really really nice i think that's done in double knit as well um that goes up to a 26 which is a 50 and that's done in yeah double knit but i think it's really pretty I think you'd have to use um, variegated yarn, to be honest. But that's really pretty. Then the other thing that I really like in here is... I think this is cute, but it's not... It, even though I'm having a nephew, it's not really something that I'd, I would like to make. Um, the other top in here, if I can get to it quickly, is this one. And this is done in chunky. Um... And that's really nice that's pretty it's very chunky and cozy um really this sort of thing should have been in the magazine in december or november just so we could get more benefit out of wearing something like that that goes up to a 2xl which are 42 inch um chunky i just wish that it went bigger for one and um yeah, maybe it would it was it would have been better being late last year. Um, I think that's everything. There's there's things about blocking in here. There's um, a few. Oh, I didn't notice them. They're cute. I couldn't do the colour work. I, they're cute. Um, I'm not very good with colour work in knitting. I get in a tangle. I've, I got in a tangle with this lot, and I was changing colour every row. Um, but I do get in a tangle. But yeah, that is issue number one, not one, one, six, nine. <laughs> Oh, I've rambled on far too much so I just want to say thank you very much to all my new subscribers um, thank you so much for everyone that's given me a shout out I know I'm repeating myself from last time but um, if you, anybody watches me and are thinking about starting a channel and have seen what's gone on and think oh well there's no point there is a point we don't do this for money um, I have got a second channel and a lot of you are subscribed to that I don't do that for money I do it because I enjoy it and I am thinking of doing um I nearly said vlogmas in February <laughs> vlog every day in February I don't know whether there's an official name for it I know we've got February at the moment um so it would be the same wouldn't it February I don't know um but I'm thinking of um starting my vlogging up and get up again um I might even put it on this channel just to give it a boost. I don't know. Um, it'll be more probably a sit down and chatty. Because I know a lot of people do that like Kim. Um, obviously I'm watching Sonia at the moment. They just sit there and explain what they've done throughout the day. Instead of actually vlogging the whole day. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. See what happens basically. I did do Everyday May. And I put that on both my channels. And that was a bit 
not of a shambles, but things happened back then. I had to stop it halfway, but anyway, that that was that's been and gone. So um, yeah, I want to say thank you for watching. I was saying this, and I've just rambled on about everything else. So I want to say thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate every single view that I get and every single second that you watch. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Wish me luck for tonight because I need to win bingo. I really do. <laughs> um, I don't know what the winnings is like tonight, but if I win, I will come on and I will do a live and say I've won, but so don't expect any live because I probably won't win or I'll win something like £2.50. <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you for watching. I've said that about four times now. <laughs> um, I'm going to go and I shall see you in my next video. Bye for now.